Yo, what's up, boys? Episode six of the, the speedrun to masters or bronze to masters. It is episode six. I got it right. Heck yeah, dude. Episode six, and I am playing Uller. Why am I playing Uller? That's a great question, actually. Because if he picked Uller, I probably would have lost. Luckily, he didn't pick Uller, so we're chilling. But um, I just wanted to play Uller for fun. I, I just think Uller is a really good character, obviously, right? I first ban him 99% of the time. But the thing is, if I first ban Uller 99% of the time, then I never get, or then you guys never get to see me play Uller. I figured, you know what? Let's just whip it out. Let's play some Uller. Getting a phone call. Let me mute real quick while he's not even in the game anyways. Oh man, Medicare, huh? Anyways. This sucks, dude. This sucks. He's not going to load into the game. I paused for him so that maybe. So maybe he would just be ready, you know, by the time the game started. But uh, unfortunately, I guess he's not loading in. It sucks because I can't, like, just delete this. <laughs> because if I delete this, you guys are going to be like, why the hell is he plus 30 MMR than last episode? Or maybe I could delete it and I could just tell you guys, you know, like, the guy never loaded in. So it was just like a really lame win. I could probably do that. I definitely could do that, huh? Maybe I will do that. Oh, but then people will call it illegitimate. The whole bronze to masters, because you don't see every single game I play to go from bronze to masters, and people are going to be like, oh my god, he lost like 17 games, and then had to grind his way back up, and then uh, he actually didn't even make it to masters, because he really just paid high res, and they boosted the account for him, so... Ah, geez. So, so man... <laughs> So maybe I do put this in the video. <laughs> I don't know, man. I wish you could jump and auto attack at the same time. But think about how difficult the animation would be. You get a working jump auto. Boom. All right, well, GG game one. I guess I'll see you in game two, which is really game one. But... Before we do that, I have to show you guys the MMR and the TP, or else you'll never believe me. You'll never believe me. Defeat, because he never loaded in, it is a victory. Plus 35 TP, plus 1 MMR. you love to see it. I'll see you guys in the next game. Welcome back to game number two, boys. I picked Uller again, because I figured, you know, the first, the first game, if you even want to call it a game, the first two minutes of the video, um... I picked Uller to show you guys me playing Uller, and I, I mean, like, you literally, you saw me playing Uller, but it wasn't against anyone, and I killed, like, three buffs, so, <laughs> so I figured we'll actually show you guys me playing Uller and get a real game going. I actually have boosters on this account, what the heck? All right, who are we fighting? Zebro. I th I've definitely fought this guy on my main before. The hunt is on. So he's not bad, I think. To be honest, I don't remember. But well, I guess it's probably not the best thing to say <laughs> because on my main, I've fought people all the way in bronze five, and I've fought literal number one players in the world. So I don't think matchmaking in duel is a thing. I think it's just like anyone queuing at, on that that time, you're just matched against them. It doesn't matter. Help me track our adversaries. 
That being said, though, I did try to record a video. Um, and I had five priority cues, which, by the way, if you don't know, is like it's like twenty five minutes in in queue before I actually got a game. So that was pretty annoying. But other than that, I mean, it's fine. Did he go blue or did he start red? He started red. Out. You have no mana. Did he just brace her? Oh, you're dead. You're so dead. Oh, you lived! Not in my world, dude. Not in my world. Oh, he started Fighter's Mask. That does a lot of damage. He also started Chalice, so... Damn, dude. But we got his Bracer, so next fight should be a little bit better for us. Not that that fight was bad. It definitely wasn't bad. Because we got his Bracer. He almost got mine, though. It was really risky of me not to brace her that one. As I very easily could have died. But I didn't, so it's okay. Uh, we're still red buff maniacs. I clear faster than him though, right? I just... Oh! God. Yeah, you don't actually win this fight. Oh god, he's level 5 and he actually has an ult. He's not using it. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. We gotta play a little bit better if we want to win the game. Because as of right now, I'm looking like I'm dancing on the edge of death. So we'll go back. Buy this. We'll buy a mana pot. I should probably get my 2. Just because his two slows, so my two might be able to give me enough move speed to dodge his two. Uh, should I pick this up? Yeah, we got a lot of time before red buff spawns. A lot of time, so we'll pick that up and we'll just go for wave. Picked up his two actually, surprisingly. I saw that coming. But I also was prepared. Oh, come on. Give me there, give me there, give me there, give me there. Don't do this to me. Oh, don't do this to me. There we go. Okay. <laughs> you know, when you say out loud, oh, don't do this to me. You know, you messed up. <laughs> you know that it's just not in the cards for you to win that fight. But you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes it happens anyways. Lucky for me. It's an even game though. Like I have one kill ahead, obviously, from what I just got, but even with that kill, I'm only 300 gold ahead. And a slight XP lead. Ow. Alright. The red buff is going to spawn. Oh, that's not good. All right, actually, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. We take these. Oh, what a what a jip, dude! What a jip! You live? No chance. No chance you live? No shot you live, bro. No. Not in my world. 
Not in my world. I died. I'm fucking dead. Damn it, dude. Ow. You right into my oh, he lived. No. I hit the one and the three, but he lived through both. Dang it. Dang it. I took two Phoenix shots to try to get that kill. Damn it. I wonder how much HP he had left. It could not have been very much. <laughs> that was close. I'm just going to give up on the red then. I'm not going to go for it. I'm just going to pick up the speed buff here. Alright, I'm a dirty liar. I want the red. Wait. I just heard him, but he wasn't at red. Where'd he go? Wait. I'm really confused. Why would he give this up to me? I guess just because he wanted the defense. I am doing decent damage right now. I don't even have my transcendence online. My damage is still pretty good, so I'm happy with this. You backing right now? If I can keep him here just a little bit longer, I might be able to take Phoenix. Or not Phoenix Tower. You actually? Alright. I used my bracer there. I don't know if I should have, to be honest. Mm. Oh, I'm dead. That was close for the by a different approach. You have been slept. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Actually died. Um I'm gonna go Aussie. Did get most of my wave. I wonder if uh I can actually get there in time for all the XP. I can. Perfect. Well, that was not a good fight. I don't really have to say that, but I'll say it anyways. What's the XP difference? I'm slightly ahead of him. I mean, I'm slightly ahead in XP and gold, but not by much. He's, uh, he does a lot of damage. I land my combo, though. I do quite a bit of damage myself. I guess the reason he didn't go for that is because he saw that I had blue buff on. Okay, this is not something you want to do. gonna stand back here that's big damage dude oh man that cudgel doing over 200 is really brutal wish I had Aussie right now
I gotta be so patient because of his cudgel just doing like all of my HP. Oh, I think I caught his three. I think he dies here. Nice. I was really worried that I turned around too early and that blue stone wasn't going to get him. Thankfully, I was wrong and I did get him. I'm just going to back here. I can't get Phoenix, so there's no real point in poking it. I'm go there, and now I'll go Breastplate. I'll, or actually, I'll go Void Shield. Just some more pen. And Relic-wise, I don't actually know what I want yet. Beads would be good, obviously, because I don't want to be Tiger Stunned and comboed. But I'm kind of thinking Shell. And the reason I'm thinking Shell is just because a lot of his damage is actually going to come from autos after his uh, after his combos are over. But maybe he's not playing. Oh. No, I guess the more I think about it, the more I think he's not playing for auto attacks. He's playing strictly ability based. A couple autos here. Got good damage on it. Okay. Okay. That was a that was a intense ass last fight. Holy crap. That last fight was everywhere. I think both of us were in the air more than we were on the ground fighting. With me jumping and with him alting and him knocking me up too. Crazy fight. But that is a plus 1 MMR. Thank you. Thank you. And another 35 TP. So I will see you guys in game number 3. Welcome back to game number three, our promo game into Diamond 2, hopefully. Assuming I don't lose, which, you know, it's possible. Uh, playing Izanami. Why are we playing Izanami? Well, I haven't played her in the series yet, apparently. I was scrolling through the gods, thinking, what should I play and how should I play it? And apparently, which, I, you know, I don't know if this is real or not but apparently i have no worshippers on izanami on this account so i've never played her so here we are playing izanami i don't actually think that i have never played her i think there i probably did but i just didn't get worshippers because either the game was too short or something like that i don't know I wonder, should I start speed buff instead of red on his Anami? She doesn't need extra damage. She's very strong early game. Clear is insane. Her poke is insane. I actually think it probably would have been better to start speed. All right, first blood, dude. He just ran right to me. He got Boomba's dagger, but he cleared so slow. It's actually really weird. I would assume with Boomba's dagger, you clear really fast. Because he, he went blue buff into red buff, and then he dashed around this corner, and he was just like, not in a good space after dashing. we will probably kill him again, in all honesty. Oh, I like. Oh, I'm lagging. Okay. Oh, not enough damage yet. I hit the alt, but it wasn't enough. Oh, almost walked into that. By the way, you do max your one on a Zanami, for anyone wondering. Because uh, you don't need the extra clear with your two. You just want the extra power and attack speed of your one. Yeah. 
Man, I am pressuring so hard right now. Can I get tower here? I actually might be able to get tower here. Holy shit. We got tower and killed him. What the heck, dude? No wonder I don't play as an army. Got busted. Every time I, I lock in this character, it's so weird because like in the in the pick screen, you know, when you're actually hovering the gods to pick, I'm like, ah, I don't really like his Anami. I don't have fun playing her. She's kind of lame. I don't even know if she's really that strong. And then I get in the game and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. What have I been missing this whole time? All right, well, there's another kill. Three kills in three minutes. This is not fair. This actually just isn't fair. I haven't had one actually good game this entire episode. And I feel pretty bad about it. I think you guys would probably like to see a double, a double promo episode. Yeah, he's just sitting in base. So the first game, literally, he didn't load in. And this game, he's just sitting in base. So I, I think probably a double uh, double promo is, is the play. No one want to tell me how I'm hitting him for 113 damage and he's hitting me for 40. Kill them again. We're four minutes in. He he actually cannot even surrender yet. He actually can't surrender yet. Oh my god. I got a five kills in four minutes. This is a massacre. This isn't fair. Like, there's abuse and then there's this game. Well, oh, that hit me. All right. Well, he died again. Six kills in five minutes. You going to surrender? You're not going to surrender. Okay. I mean, that's fine if you want. That's, I mean, that's okay. Just really, really want to play it out. All right. Another achievement called Death's Call. Okay, he surrendered. Seven kills in five minutes. I got so many achievements that game. I think I got both Izanami achievements and competitor silver. Which I think is 20 ranked matches played. Oh yeah, dude. All right, we take that promo into D2. Yeah, I got three achievements. We take that promo into D2 and that's a plus zero. I guess I'll do a second promo because there was literally not a single good game in this episode if I were to just upload it. So, um, I'll see you guys in game four. What's up, boys? Game number five? Four? I actually don't know. But, um, here, let me move this for you guys real quick so you guys can see. Those are his bands. He has higher MMR than me. So, the rare occasion where I'm on the other side of the map, I'm going to try hard. I'm going to pick his Anami. That's a Diamond Border Loki. It's a little spooky. Uh, but I guess we'll see, see how it works. Oh, gamer lover 54. 
I have heard much about you, sir. I am the from from Rexy himself. About uh <laughs> about how much of a not cool guy this man is. I'm not gonna say anything because I don't know, but I guess we'll see if the spam laugh comes out or not. He paused. Alright. Should I start with trans or not? Because I want to go animosity this game. I think I'm going to need to against the Loki. I'm going to have to abuse animosity. Um. Wait, you're what now? Uh, huh? What do you mean? I'm what now? What am I? Ugly? Uh, I'm gonna start like this. I think if he fights me with, with Bracer. Is he over here? He's not. Awesome. So I just get three red buff really easy. He's still clearing. I actually just finished. I assume he got red. And my goal is to just pressure as much as possible. Because if Loki gets to late game, that's when you get scared. All right, his tower is half dead. We're 30 seconds in. That's ridiculous. Is he just farming up everything? Because that's what it looks like. I'm almost level five. Oh, he got red buff and then back for boots. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. Big kill on me there. That's a gamer ass bracer. Are you actually gonna push? I was gonna say, that's a little weird that you would try to push this. I can't catch up to him. That's fine. I don't really need to. Alright, whatever. Watch the shadows for me. I'm just gonna keep doing tower damage like I said I would. He does have ult up. Mm. So I am falling behind obviously in like XP and gold and stuff. But my pressure is insane. But I think I need to start farming or I might lose the game. Alright, but we did get our transcendence online, so that's really nice. It's gonna give me a lot of damage as well as a lot more mana sustain. Which is actually a problem, believe it or not. And after I get this buff here, we should be okay. What's his build looking like? Boots into Transcendence. Um, my next item obviously is going to be Boots. And then after that, I think I'm just going to go Mid Guardian or Mystical Male. And um, then maybe an Emperor's Armor. And then Animosity. Like, I'm really just going to stack on the defense. Make sure that I'm not going to get poo pooed on. That being said, our, uh, our gold is even. Our XP is even. I'm feeling really good right now. <laughs> I 
Hmm. It's weird that he just took that. He definitely could have ulted away. That sucks. I had to brace for that. Best regroup there I fall prey to my spell. He has alt, so I'm just gonna run all the way back here. He probably gets both. Uh, if I had to guess, he probably gets both red buffs here. He might go for mine first. So instead of going for mine and then letting him rotate into mid, I'm going to go mid and fight him off and try to get his. Where did he go? Be my eye of the darkness. That was really weird. He actually just vanished. All right, whatever. I'm doing a ton of damage though. My goodness. I'm sure he will too. Cause he's going transcendence, but. Oh, I'm dead. Ow. I literally didn't hear a single peep. Like, I didn't hear a single sound. I didn't hear the alt go off. I didn't hear the stealth. I didn't hear anything. Unlucky. Bless you, babe. Um, I need to start pushing harder, dude. This is not looking very good for me. I don't know. He doesn't have alt. He can't actually burst me that easy, right? Maybe. Oh, that was very close. Oh my God. That was so close, dude. Holy shit. If, if that auto didn't hit at that exact time, I would be dead. I would actually just be dead. And actually, I think I do like the idea of a um, mid guardian more than a mystical male. Like sure, mystical male might help me with seeing him when he's stealth, but I don't think that really matters that much. Mid Guardian's gonna keep me alive more. And I don't know about you guys, but I enjoy being alive. We're a little bit of gold ahead. Not enough for it to actually matter, I think. I have to be on the lookout for this red buff and this red buff. Is the next one that spawns is going to be enhanced. Um, and my next item is more than likely going to be either an Emperor's Armor, if I get a lot of gold all of a sudden, or just Animosity. This should be spawning soon. He's just trying his hardest to stay away from me. All right. Well, 
He's trying super hard to just stay away. I think it's okay. Like, I don't think that it actually does anything for him to stay away from me. As long as he doesn't get the red buff that did just spawn and he's running towards. All right, he altered away. He's coming back in. Okay, I should be a little bit scared probably. But I'm not gonna be. Okay, I tried, uh, I tried to Aegis. Cause I knew he was gonna do that. But instead I pressed my bracer. And then I pressed my escape. <laughs> Unlucky. It's all right, though. Um, I do want animosity. I obviously can't afford full animosity yet, but in like a wave or two, I'll be able to. He's just going full blown damage, dude. I don't think you can do full-blown damage as Loki and win the game. I think you need just a little bit more. Maybe I'm wrong, though. I did not get level 17. He's just so fast, dude. He's so fast. All right, animosity online. Now we go into Emperor's armor. What's next after we get Emperor's armor? Well, I think that's pretty simple. We just take the Phoenix. I might go Aussie actually, six item. That would help, but... I think that I mind here, actually. Okay, this looks pretty good to me. Right, he's just gonna run away. All right. Um. I mean, Heartseeker is definitely gonna do good work for him, just because I am stacking HP, obviously, but. I don't know, like I said, dude. If I have two defensive relics and your whole like if I if I have double defense and two defensive relics and your whole build is damage, it's gonna be really hard for you to win. You need some sort of utility on it. bud Did you do the red buff oh i think he went for the red buff there that is quite a big mistake oh he got me he got me he got me it was a good ult but doesn't matter 
because I had already gotten your Phoenix. And I'm already in position to win the game now. Because in order for him to actually... Like he lost Phoenix for the red buff, so obviously he's probably going to go for the kill there. Um, but in order for him to be able to clear fire minions, he can't just like use his two anymore. He needs to really commit with his two and his three and everything. Your middle tower is under attack. Okay, ow. <laughs> damn, dude. Actual damn. The problem is he's not... It's not that he's doing, um... What is it called? It's not that he's bursting me down. It's that he's getting me low because I, you know, I obviously I can't hear him. So he's getting me low using his one and his two and his three and then just resetting because he's got such high cooldown. That's the problem. And I need to figure out how to win a fight here. GG. GG. That was actually really close. He was winning the fights really heavily. I don't know why he decided to fight that there. I think if he just didn't fight that, he would have won the game. Maybe. What are you doing? Bro, what are you doing? What is this Titan doing? All right, GG, dude. That was a that was actually a really good game. That was very back and forth. I think the reason he lost the game one is that last fight. Obviously, it was really really greedy of him to try to alt me and turn the fight rather than just alting back towards tower. But also, him giving up Phoenix for the enhanced red was a really bad decision. I think. But anyways. Um, plus 34 TP, plus 100 MMR, and I will see you guys in the next game. What's up, boys? Back with game whatever. Actually, I don't know. I've been recording for an hour and a half. So, uh, we're playing Loki. Why? I was inspired. <laughs> Last game, he was doing a lot more damage than I expected and just pumping out a ridiculous amount of numbies. And I thought, well, you know what? It works for him. Why can't it work for me? So here we are. We're going to try our thing. Try to be Loki. I don't know if it's going to ever turn out uh, good for me. This, this match. Because I'm not, nor have I ever really been good with Loki. Actually, that's not true. I was good with Loki before I did YouTube videos. Like way back then, like preseason, before the game even really released. Um, back in the beta, when you needed to know someone to get into the beta, that's when I was good with Loki. But now, I mean, I it's not even the same god anymore. So <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But he inspired me, and I just want to do some damage. I think he played wrong. In the sense that he went boots and um, 
he went he went boots and then transcendence where i think you need to get transcendence first because you need to stack it a little bit quicker and i mean transcendence is still not nerfed right now so really good time to get it i feel like my frames are doing very bad right now let me close out of anything else I have. Um, who wins these fights here? If I had to guess, I'd say me. Nice. He actually did win the fight there. I feel like my FPS is so bad, but maybe it's just my eyeballs. Because it says in the game that the FPS is good, and it says on my, my uh, little dark. capture thing over here that my FPS is at 60 and it's not changing. Maybe it's my monitor. Uh, maybe I need to turn my monitor off for a second. I don't know, dude. Turning things off and on always works. I did not know <laughs> that you could body block an entire minion or uh, an entire buff camp with your two. That's actually pretty nuts. Also, uh, please don't judge me for maxing my three. I think it's what you're supposed to do, but honestly, I've seen so many different play styles. I've seen people max their one. I've seen people max their two. I've seen people max their three. I've seen people level, level evenly and not max anything until like level 13. It's crazy. I don't really know what the right play style is, but like I said, the whole reason I pick Loki is because I just want to do some damage. And uh, Mr. Gamer Lover, whatever the numbers were at the end of his name, inspired me. Ow. All right, not much here for me right now. He dead. Yeah. All right. He died to uh Oh, well, he died to basically my one and my archers. I just had to do a little bit a little love tap there at the end to finish him off. One, two, three, four, five. And we I guess we level our alt. Does your alt do a lot more damage? Yeah, it does. Okay. We level the alt. And get power boots. I'm gonna try Gamer Lover's build, by the way. That's the whole that's the whole point of me playing Loki. He, so he went Transcendence Boots, he went Hydras, he went Heartseeker. And he was he went hidden blade. With the hidden blade mannequin thing. I don't know what else he went. Because that's only five items, so I don't know what the six item is, but I don't think it matters that much. Hopefully by then we'll just be fragging. Now just so we're all clear. I do not think that full damage Loki is the best. As I was saying in in the previous game. But it seemed like he was having fun. <laughs> and I'm I'm a jealous man when it comes to people having fun on Smite. So I, I like to... I like to do it myself, you know? The speed buff up. Oh, it is up. I actually was not expecting that. <laughs> okay that could have been way worse wow i'm lucky i am lucky i beezed when i did and i'm lucky that i had a really good ult 
because that that could have been very poor i'm gonna start leveling my two now get tier two hydras um he got blink right i think he had blink and he had bracer i obviously am not going bracer i'm going beads because i'm fighting a naja but i will go the blink Playing very passive, which I definitely am not like upset about because I've been kind of abusing. Oh my god, dude. Okay. My ult did 400 damage and two hits on my three did 172. That's okay. Maybe. Maybe full damage of Loki is not as bad as I think it is. It does it does a lot, bro. It's doing a lot. Yo, what's up, boys? Final game of the video. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't lose to Nox. That would be super embarrassing. <laughs> but um final final game of the video, probably. For the double promo episode into Diamond One. I think I'm going to go Boomba's Dagger. And I'm going to go just straight up Boots too. And Beads. And get this. And this should be a good start. I, obviously, I'm going to use a lot of mana clearing buffs and stuff. So I'll have to back early. But the benefit of starting Tier 2 Boots with no pots is that you don't need much gold in order to back early comfortably. So be good that stuff. All right. And the reason we're playing soul, by the way, is because, uh, well, he left the game, so we'll pause. The reason we're playing soul is because I haven't played her on this account yet, which means I haven't played her in this series. It means any new god in the series that's actually a good god is still someone that I would like to play. So, like, I don't think I've played Hades in this series, so I could play him. Um, haven't played Vulcan. Haven't played Set. I haven't played... Uh, there's a lot of good gods in Duel that I haven't played. But we'll see, dude. We'll see. Is this going to be just like the first match we played? Where the guy literally left the game and... And didn't come back? Because that's what it seems like. Because it seems like he was in the game, and then he decided to leave the game from his own free will <laughs> so we might uh we might end this game how we started this how we started this game or this we might end this video how we started this video with a free win that says defeat on your screen but is actually a win i wonder if the defeat actually counts towards the losses you have like when it says defeat but you gain mmr and and tp i wonder if that counts or not probably not i'd assume it still counts as a win it's just like some visual bug or something all right well This is the unglamorous side of of YouTube that you guys don't see. Is that oftentimes I'd say I I played how many matches during this video? Like six. Not a single one of them I would use for a video. <laughs> but luckily. Luckily. Huh? Oh no, you're right. I would have used the Izanami versus Loki one. That was a good game. But other than that game, you know, the whole other 
hour and a half I spend recording would just be wasted. But that's okay, because a series like this helps me not only, like, I guess less of a workload, because I don't need to keep recording the same thing over and over, but also it lets you guys see that it's not, you know, it's not one and done 90% of the time. Don't get me wrong, sometimes it is. Sometimes I'll be like, hey, babe, I want to play Attack Speed Kepri today. See you in four hours. And I come out 30 minutes later like, yeah, I just beat, I just beat this guy with Attack Speed Kepri. You know, like sometimes it happens, but it's, it's rare. <laughs> All right, there we go, dude. Diamond one. One more episode of the series. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.